Hi, I'm Jason Ever from Chastity.com. When it comes to the topic of homosexuality, a lot of people believe, well, the Catholic Church is just bigoted against people. The Church hates gays. This is something you hear so often, but is it really true? I remember hearing of an interview Mother Teresa had with the media in Calcutta, and they would ask her, you know, Mother Teresa, the social conditions here, the poverty, and then they brought up the topic of homosexuality. They said, what about the, 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 the homosexuals here in Calcutta? And she stopped them, and she said, you know, I don't like the word homosexual. And they, oh, Mother Teresa hates gays too. And she says, no, no. She said, for the rest of this interview, you will refer to them as friends of Jesus. Now go on. And they said, okay, well, with regard to the homo, with the friends of Jesus here in Calcutta. And so for the rest of the interview, she demanded that that be the way that these people be referred to. And so to understand the church does not hate people because they call them to a holy life. And I truly believe that it's a false form of compassion to tell a person that they can find fulfillment outside of the will of God. And that's what today's modern concept of tolerance is. We'll just make up your own rules and we love you. Well, love sometimes needs to be tough. And you may think, well, that's nice, but isn't the church being unfair and telling these people how they can live and how they can act? Well, I think the gay agenda that's out there today, I think puts these people in a very difficult situation because they tell them, look, you only have two options. You can either hide in the closet out of fear that if you ever came out and exposed your true identity, that people would hate you. Or you can come out of the closet, embrace your identity as, as a homosexual person, and then do whatever you want and make up your own morality. Those are your two options. The Catholic Church thinks that that's a bit narrow-minded. In fact, the Catholic Church would extend a third option, that you could acknowledge that you do have same-sex attractions, and you can tell your family members or whoever it is you care to disclose that information to, but to realize that your other option isn't just to come out and make up your own rules with sexuality, but you can actually lead a pure life with the grace of God. This option is never even proposed to the people that struggle with these attractions. And if you think about it, the Catholic Church has canonized people who have struggled with everything under the sun, whether it be pride, vanity, prostitution, murder. Catholic Church has saints who have done all of those things. And I look forward to the day where the Catholic Church will have saints who at one point in their life had struggled with same-sex attractions but chose to glorify God with their body and lead a pure life. And so unfortunately, the world will tell people, well, if you can't engage in sexual behavior, then you can't have love. What a confused notion that sex equals love. It absolutely does not. You look at people, Mother Teresa, Pope John Paul II, these people live lives of celibacy and purity, yet they were able to love, both to give love and receive love. And so if you do struggle with same-sex attractions, above all, know that God loves you, that he has a plan for you, and there's a place for you within the Catholic Church. Come to Christ with a spirit of generosity and tell him you will take up your cross and follow him. You will trust him and he will lead you to a joy that no pleasure on earth could ever match. God bless you and be sure of our prayers.